dedicated sharpening station. It's a really great project. It helps make sharpening easier in a shop by making a place that's just set up for sharpening. So let me walk you through it. First off, we'll start by making this sharpening pond. The sharpening pond consists of a basin with a box around it and a top with a spigot that pumps water up through the spigot and then right onto your sharpening stones. And I'll show you how to build these great sharpening stone holders that are built to last with pegged joinery. All of the surfaces are coated with a marine grade varnish to help protect the wood from the water. And once you build the sharpening ponds, I'll walk you through how to build this cabinet. Now the cabinet's really unique for a couple of reasons. Number one, I decided to go with phenolic plywood. I chose phenolic plywood because it's water resistant with its plastic top. And if you're like me, every square inch in your shop is really important. So we'll put some casters in the bottom of this cabinet so you can move it around the shop easily. And the T-tracks are really great because all you have to do is open up the door into the cabinet, pull out your sharpening pond, lift it up, line it up with the T-tracks, put it down, lock it in, and you're ready to go. You also have room for a grinder or other sharpening items, and I, such as a work sharp. To the left of the door is a whole bank of drawers. And these drawers are great for holding all of your sharpening stones, angle jigs, sandpaper, or anything else that you would need to use for sharpening. And when you're not sharpening, you can take the pond or your grinder down, put it back inside the storage, and you have a nice flat surface in the shop to use. And I hope you join me to build this dedicated sharpening station with this awesome sharpening pond with water stone holders and storage for the pond and the grinder. For me, I have a work sharp and a bank of drawers to hold all the accessories that you need for your sharpening. So if you want to build this project, check it out at www.mmwoodstudio.com.